Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, June 16th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Yes, another week in the books, and we're looking down the barrel of a long weekend, too. And thanks to those who keep me honest. Yesterday, I put a repeat of George's Wednesday weather in there, but sorry about that. Remember, unless the S hits the fan over the weekend, there is not going to be a DNB for Monday, as we're going to be taking Juneteenth off. Anyhow, we do have some news and some events, so let's get into it all, shall we? I can't imagine the horror of this accident. On Wednesday evening at the Laurel Racetrack, the Anne Arundel County Police were called for a pedestrian struck. When they arrived, a 23-month-old toddler was the pedestrian. Apparently, a vehicle had stopped to let out two passengers, and while the driver was chatting with the passengers, the toddler emerged from a nearby carport and walked within inches of the front of the car. The driver got in and started to pull away, not realizing that the toddler was there and struck the child. The child was pronounced deceased at an area hospital a short time later. If you own a Kia or a Hyundai, are 18 or older, live in the county, and are concerned that your car may be stolen because of a stupid TikTok challenge, the Anne Arundel County Police want to see you. They will be distributing free steering wheel locks at Brooklyn Park Middle School on Thursday, June 29th from 9 a.m. to noon. You need to bring your proof of identity, residency, and ownership of a Kia or Hyundai, basically like if you get stopped by a cop, license and registration. Make sure that's all up to date. Supplies are limited, and they are on a first-come, first-served basis, so my recommendation is to go there early again Thursday, June 29th from 9 a.m. to noon at Brooklyn Park Middle School. And a big thank you to the Anne Arundel County Police that are doing this. Since it is Pride Month, and this is for the LGBTQ crowd, Smithy Law Group in West Annapolis is one of the premier employment attorneys in the state. And on Tuesday, June 20th, they're going to be holding an LGBTQ plus hotline from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. If you are having some work-related issues like discrimination, harassment, retaliation, things like that, you can call and talk with an attorney to see what your options might be. It's free. Again, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And the call-in number is 410-919-2990. And once again, for those in the back of the room, 410-919-2990. And man, this is a great idea. You can learn more about it on ionanapolis.net. We do have a big post up there about it for that. Guinness has decided to keep Baltimore blonde beer in production. I guess that's good news. But the bad news is it's not going to be in Baltimore. They're pulling out of the area, and now they have contracted with Utica, New York-based FX Matt to brew the beer. Personally, I say screw that. If they want our name, brew it here. Otherwise, I think we ought to file a lawsuit. Events. We do have a bunch. Of course, the big kahuna this weekend is Juneteenth. It does kick off tonight with a VIP gala, which is sold out. Then tomorrow at noon, the parade steps off at City Dock and ends at the Whale and Bates Field, where there will be an all-day festival and celebration. It is free. It is fun. Bring the whole family. You'll have a great time. Saturday night is another dinner under the stars on that first block of West Street. And Sunday is Father's Day. And the Bay Sox are home all weekend. That would be a good idea for Dad. But there is also Coffee, Cars, and Cops at the Annapolis Mall, and that runs from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., and it's near the old Sears Auto Center. Sunday evening is the Art and Public Places Summer Concert Series at City Dock. That does get underway at 6 p.m., and there may be a bit of a conflict there as there is a candlelight vigil for the three slain neighbors last Sunday. The vigil does begin at 6.30 p.m. at the State House, I assume Lawyer's Mall, and it will work its way down to City Dock. And speaking of that slain, we are working on a fundraiser at Caliente Grill on June 25th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Please plan to be there and support these families and help our community heal. That's it for events, and now we have to start to wrap it up for you. Today on Canines and Crosstracks, we met Buffy, a bagel. 
well, part Bassett and part Beagle. I learned that's called a bagel. And if you are interested, she's not going to be there very long. She is one awesome dog. Listen to our spot now and then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for our irresistible photos and get all of the information on how you can adopt Buffy. And as I mentioned, we do have a brand spanking new daily newsletter that features only the top news stories of the day. We send it out to your inbox every night at 7 p.m. And if you'd like to sign up, there is a link right here in the show notes. And if you know somebody that might appreciate it, let them know about it too. And in advance, gracias. Here is some podcast news for you. Tomorrow on the Local Business Spotlight, we're going to be speaking with True Food Kitchen and next weekend, Pasadena Yacht Yard. All right, that's it. Now it's time just to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every single day. I do hope we add some value to your world. And if we do, please leave a review somewhere or tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SBCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, and the Maryland Higher Education Commission. It is Friday. The weekend is here. So now it is time just to say have a great weekend. Be nice to others. Do something fun and keep shopping local. Other than that, we're going to see you on Tuesday. Now hang tight because George Young from DC MDVA Weather is here with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. And of course, canines and cross tracks. So do hang around for that. All coming to you in just one minute. It's another exciting weekend of affordable family fun at Prince George's Stadium with the Bowie Bay Sox. It kicks off on the 16th with our DL Hall poster giveaway for the first 750 fans and our Not Cancer Out of the Park night on Saturday. Back-to-back fireworks each night and celebrate your Father's Day on the 18th with a pregame catch on the field. Get your tickets now by calling 301-805-6000 or anytime online at baysox.com. The Bowie Bay Sox, let us be your nine-inning vacation. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, June 16th. Yesterday was amazing out across the Annapolis region, and the weekend ahead should be really nice as well, but we'll have to get through some showers and storms today with another chance for some much-needed rain coming in the first half of next week. Look for highs today in the low to mid-80s, with showers and storms likely primarily in the p.m. hours as a frontal boundary moves through from the west. But skies should clear nicely for the weekend with highs in the low to mid-80s Saturday, followed by maybe mid to upper 80s on Sunday, which should make for a great day to get out and about to celebrate Father's Day. As for next week, the expectation is for more 70s and 80s with unsettled skies and a daily chance of rain Monday through at least Wednesday. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there, and we'll be back here on Tuesday since Monday is a holiday for Juneteenth. But be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. That can only mean one thing. We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Cross Treks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher Standards.
Back here at Canines and Crosschecks with Kelly and Billy. And I see that Billy has survived the weekend after a wonderful turnout at Bands in the Sand for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation on Saturday night. What a beautiful evening it was. It was gorgeous. You could, that's right. We, I, I, I ran into you and your, yes. lo- your lovely husband as we're, well, too. We were all there. We were all that's there, fun. not sitting around a conference table. <laughs> that's right. It was awesome. We'll the, see. The we'll see food, what happens. everything was great. And the weather was absolutely perfect. Yeah. And that was my first time attending. And what a great event. Oh, it was it was awesome. Oh, it loved was awesome. It. And and actually I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here, but the last rebel I was somewhat hesitant about like how well they'd be received, but they were great. They are phenomenal mm-hmm. musicians. Absolutely loved them. I it's so funny too because I, I said to Michelle I said to some friends there and I was like, Oh my gosh, they reminded me of like a cool band that would be in Montana. And uh-huh. that's, that's where is their one of those, next, exactly where that's they're from. Where they're headed. Yeah, well, that that's where, where they're headed. I think right? a few of them are from Montana, and one of them's from like yeah. Minnesota or yeah. something. But yeah, I was talking to them afterwards, and they're mm-hmm. like, they're super cool guys. Yeah. Like just well, yeah. they were super stoked to be there. They had never played a gig like that. Yeah, it was they yeah. Had that big bass, the fiddle. Yeah, they were like, "What violin. do you guys want in your green room?" And they're like, "Uh, like a couple of Miller Lights." <laughs> and you're like, that's it? Okay. Okay, that was easy? Yeah. <laughs> that it was, was awesome. Great. It was great music. And I think everybody just enjoyed that band. Oh, they so really did. Hey, but that was preceded by Pines for Applause, which had a great turnout it too over at the Navy Academy. It was a great Academy success. Stadium. You know, we were setting up um, before it opened at like 12 o'clock and already there were people that were in line ready to come in and, you know, enjoy those 50 different vendors that were showcasing their beers. Yeah. So it was great. And, um, and of course, we had vendors from the community and Fabulous turnout. Everybody got along great. All the dogs and friends and everybody got along and, and had a blast. So it was a great part. Yeah, it really was a great success. Who was less behaved, the humans or the animals? Always the humans. We talked about, we've got the puppy plunge that's coming up. That's August 20th from 11 to 2 at Camp Lats. That's right. And um, you can uh, get all that information at aacspca.org. Mm-hmm. And then you guys like going to hibernation, right? Well, we go into hibernation for a little bit but then we have lights on the bay which is right around the corner believe it or not i mean that's going to be no, opening in november it's yes, not right it around is. the corner you know we're, we're almost into to july start preparing for the holidays now can we right just enjoy now. our summer kelly no no we gotta I mean, think about come lights on. in the bay no, Start I don't want to. Christmas wanna, shopping now, Billy. I don't want to think about lights on the bay right now. I'm not going to do it. I mean, you, you can, can but I'm not going. To. Right? Okay. Well, we'll you know sponsor what? I have to. We're going to sponsor. <gasps> Yay! But I'm not going to think about it until but it you gets know a little what? chilly. I have to. I have to think about it, and it's and it's going to happen. And we're going to be starting to send out our packet. So now we already know we have one sponsor. Thank you, Billy. You're welcome. You need more. Yeah, we always need more. We always need more. So, <laughs> well, to the world of a nonprofit. If would like to sponsor Lights on the Bay, which is fabulous. I mean, how many people do you put through there? It's something like thousands and thousands. I mean, of cars. I, I think I'd heard at some point like fifty thousand through the season or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the cars. I mean, it runs for six weeks, and um, so I mean, we, it's just it's great. And obviously, the weekends are super busy. And are you guys going to be doing the, the they get them right lights and leashes, lights and leashes which is, is where you can gonna walk happen pups too and that's going to be on the 17th and 18th so it's going to be the Friday and Saturday night before we open and then the whole show opens to the public on, on the November night. 19th. Yes. Well, who is running around? Okay. Here? I mean, I would say the pitter patter of little feet but that's not what what's Absolutely. running around little here legs not. for sure. We've got little we've legs. got Buffy who is trying to get on my lap right now because Buffy thinks that she's really small and she's not. So Buffy is a basset hound mix. And I think the mix is obviously a beagle. You know what? I ran into that yeah. mix this weekend at oh, a yeah. picnic on Sunday. Uh-huh. And I said, oh, what kind of, what kind of, is that a, is that a basset? And he says, no, it's a bagel. I said, what? You're like, what? And he said, yeah, it's a beagle and a basset. Okay, that and is it, so it was cute. mostly beagle up top, but basset on the bottom with the big old thick, so I think paws. that's what we got going here with Buffy. So you get the best of both worlds. Absolutely you do, because either way, their temperament's wonderful. You yeah. know, beagles are so much fun and bassets, and they're kind of chilled. She couldn't so, be happier to be in here. She's a happy girl, and she's three years old. You've seen her with the cats, and so far she's been cat-friendly and uh-huh. dog-friendly. Cats are a little bit less than... Buffy friendly, that's, but that's, that's okay. Right. The cat's not so much, but um, she loves people. She loves to go for car rides and go to get a pup. Uh, Popsicle? Popsicle it's at a, uh, yeah, Starbucks, Starbucks, right? Yeah, her yeah, caretaker yeah, yeah. was just in her, her dog uh, room caretaker. Just puppuccino. So oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. It's puppuccino. a puppuccino. Well, me... But she is super cool, and everybody who's been caring for her in the dog room just loves her. You guys have so many dogs here, though, and I know, I was thinking about this when I was driving in the driveway, and I saw two people, two of the volunteers out there walking. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I'm assuming all the dogs get out for walks and oh my gosh, and everything yes. else. For everybody listening, I guarantee you, these dogs go out for walks and get more socialization than most pets at home because I they are out four and five times a day, um, going for a walk on the trail or just hanging or going to Starbucks or going to Quiet Waters, and we have fabulous volunteers that make that happen. That is awesome. We keep them socialized and ready for adoption. So. Well, Buffy looks like she's ready to go home, and, and she'd be just like a perfect addition to any home. I mean, she seems to be very content just dealing with one person or, or a huge family. Yeah, I think or, she'd be great with kids, I too. mean, she's showing us all equal love here. That's you right. Know, she's just How going one person that? to the next. She doesn't want anybody to feel like they're being neglected. Definitely got the, the basset ears. Oh, for sure. Yes. For sure. And the basset body. The, well, e- the ears are longer than the legs, for sure. <laughs> totally. Well, to adopt Buffy, A-A-C-S-P-C-A dot org, and uh, that'll get you started anyhow. She's not going to be around for a long time. shes I, I'm trying to remember what the name of the little dog was. We brought over to when we did it at Annapolis Subaru. Apple. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Apple does, it was Apple. It was Apple. Yes. Yeah. Apple yeah. was good. That's right. Oh, Apple she was, was so Apple does fun. own the party deck. Yeah, Apple she Street. was so much fun. Yeah, she she definitely got adopted immediately after that. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm taking her. But yeah, yeah, no, Buffy's going to be the same way. Buffy Absolutely. Has, hey, I um saw in the Capital newspaper the other day that Annapolis Subaru is rated the num- by the readers. Now, this is a legitimate reader vote, not like some of the other publications and pay stuff to like play. that. That pay to play. This is a legitimate reader vote. I do know that for a fact. But Annapolis Subaru won the best car dealership and. From the Capital Reader, so congratulations to you on that. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Good yeah, job. It's, uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, that's uh, it's something that means a lot to us. I mean, obviously, we just you know we do our thing every day, and you know it's not something that we look to get or you know campaign for or anything like that. Like knowing that it is you know voted on by the readers and and not no, it's great to be recognized for for our staff. I mean, our staff is phenomenal, and you know they do a great job every day. And you know, our number one goal is to. You know, make people uh, make people happy and help solve their problems, whether it's, you know, maintain their car, fix their car or or get something new. I I also read where Auto 123 and I'm not sure who they are, but they um, picked the Crosstrek uh, as the top. uh, What do they call the micro micro SUVs or whatever the classification is? But over the two um, over the Mazda CX-30 and the Hyundai Kona and what they what they said is that in the end, it was a Subaru Crosstrek that beat its rivals to the finish line. It's simple. This model is just too good all around to be ignored. That's, that's pretty good great. kudos. That's a great that's a great quote. Sure I, I mean I, I agree wholeheartedly, you know, obviously. So John, I've got an event. Can I can I pitch the uh Jess Fest thing? Yes, you absolutely can. All right, cool. What's the Jess Fest? Yes, yeah, so we've got an event on uh, July fifteenth. It is a uh fundraiser in memory of the one and only Jess Beard. So Jess was one of my uh is one of my best friends uh wives and she passed away uh last February of stage four metastatic breast cancer. Mm. And, um, at 30 years old, she fought it for, for four years. And, um, what we're doing, uh, in her memory is we are, uh, we're going to throw a, a massive party and, uh, we're going to, um, try to raise a bunch of money, uh, to donate to all of the causes and all of the people that, and all the organizations that, that help Jess along the way. Um, so, you know, the Allman house down in Baltimore, um, you know, Sharon's comfy, Shannon's comfy chemo bag. Jess even had her own foundation, Jess Beard's ears over fears, you know, Mickey Mouse ears. She was a big Disney fan. So, you know, the kids will come and, and, you know, paint, paint ears and stuff like that. But it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to get, a, get a few bands there. We're still working on that. It's going to be at uh, Fairview farm in Davidsonville from two to 6 PM on July 15th. We're trying to get as many people as possible to, to come out. It's a, it's a big place. You know, there's no, there's no cap on, uh, on attendance, you know, but, uh, you can get, you can get your tickets, um, online. Um, you can go to, uh, if you're on Facebook, you can look up Jess Fest 2023, and uh, pre-purchase your tickets on there. I think they're like twenty bucks or something like that. And all of the money that's that's donated um, and raised that day is going to go to these um, go to these different Turn charities right and be and be distributed to them because they did such a amazing job helping Jess. Um, you know, with the the hardest four years in uh, obviously her life and her family's life. So we're uh, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a little sad. Um, well, it's uh, it's tough when you lose when you lose a friend, and uh, it's awesome that you guys are doing all this to, you know, to, to keep to keep the memory alive and and 
And celebrate no. yeah. her life. Celebrate the life. It was life. way I mean, too it, it, short. Yeah, way too short. Way too short. Hell of a 30 years. Yeah. And the impact <laughs> she made on, on obviously yeah. so many people that, yeah. that love her. A lot of people, yeah. Metaviber, Absolutely. we've partnered with them in the past um, and shared the love. And, you know, we're going to be partnering with a few of these other organizations as well this year um, on some stuff. So... Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. We're uh, we're sponsoring it. Annapolis Subaru is so um, yeah. They're looking for uh, they're looking for other sponsors as well. So if you know food trucks, any sort of entertainment, um, you know anything really that you know would would be fitting. Adaptable for... animals can come out. Yeah, and hang yeah, come out. On, come on out. Yeah, yeah. Play with some. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they had two dogs. They have two dogs. Yeah, that That's were rescued. So yeah, it's just uh, gonna be a good day. July fifteenth. Fairview Farms in Davidsonville. Yeah, July fifteenth. July fifteenth. Yep. Two to six. Two to six. Jess Fest 2023 on Facebook? I believe, yeah, that's what it is. I was just looking at Jess Fest 2023 on Facebook. And I'll give you a link and probably put it in the awesome article. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be good. Anybody's not doing anything on July 15th, now you have plans. Come on Put it on out. the calendar. It's going to be fun. Again, if you are looking to get Buffy out of this, uh, actually, this is not really a bad place to be, but... If you're looking to take Buffy and bring her home to you, you can check her out at aacspca.org. Uh, come visit her. She's, she's, a, she's a wonderful dog, wonderful addition to anybody. And uh, again, if anybody is in the market for a Subaru, which Consumer Reports highly recommends, and Auto123 says that Crosstrek is too good to be ignored. Um, so are the Outbacks. We have a lot of Outbacks right now, so <laughs> we can't ignore them. If you come in and you know you're thinking you want to drive a cross track, you should probably check out an Outback as well because we're uh, might be doing some deals. There you, know, you go. Never know. There you go. AnnapolisSubaru.com is where you want to go for that. Again, the dates that you want to keep in mind throughout the summer. You've got the Puppy Plunge coming up on August 20th. You've got uh, Lights on the Bay, which is November 19th, but Lights and Leashes is the 17th and 18th. And we've got Boatyard Beach Bash, which is, I think, September 9th. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, certainly you've got the Jess Fest 2023 on July 15th up at Fairview Farms up in Davidsonville. Yep. So those are... Uh, Look at this, man. We're even planning people's summers. There you go. If you want something to do this summer, just listen to the show and we'll tell you. And their holidays, <laughs> right, Billy? Yeah. And we're no, we're not talking game. about the holidays. Yeah, we are. No, no, no. Not even thinking about it. <laughs> we, got, we, we got it all. But Buffy is here. She is waiting for somebody to take her home. Uh, come get her. And um, we'll see you guys, I guess, next week. Sounds good. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010 and it's been paid off for almost five years and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.